Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Nebulous Cast. We got a 3k 4v4 on the one and only Pillars. Whew. Sorry, I'm a little off. I got this new drink to try. It's a, a, ginger, a ginger drink, and I was not ready for it. Whew. Um, looks like blue team... Let's see. Kind of standard. We got a big group at C, D. It looks like we have someone going under point A. What we see sometimes, not not too often. Orange covering pretty much the entire map with a spread heal. Nothing wrong with that, but hopefully uh, don't get caught, caught off guard. Trying to maybe move into point A. So... Let's see. Yeah, so I think something we've learned on this map so far is that point A is pretty it's pretty easy for Orange Team to take. But the problem is Orange Team has a good habit of overextending. Well let's see what they do this game. <clears throat> so here we have a heavy cruiser. Fitted with two 66 and one MK68 450mm cannon and a war laser systems. Fair World Defended, he does have a light cruiser as a support ship with four M MK64s, some machine gun, and some... I think that's... I think that's going to be flak. And a signature jammer, I imagine. Nice. Okay. That is going to be acid. Let's... Move on here to coast. Is all of this coast? Oh my gosh, coast. Uh, let's see. He has a bunch of Wayne's class ships here. He has some mach ant machine gun. He has machine gun, anti missile, and then he has some MK 61s and then torpedoes. A nice support ships, and then on his light cruiser. Uh, three, oh no, five MK-64s and a lock-on, so this is kind of his gunship. Nice. Uh, we have CC, CSS Spice, he's going to be a heavy cruiser with two 81s and one 82 whale gun with a war laser defense and some missiles, very nice. Uh, then let's see, we have Fat Fred the 4th. Who is our battleship? We haven't seen too many battleships. Uh, he's gonna have three 60 MK 68s and one a MK 81 whale gun here. Very nice and a lock on. And then we have a bunch of uh, sprint ships from CCS here. Uh, looks like all of these have maybe signature boosters and some missiles. Yeah, okay, good scout ships. Uh, let's take a look at the blue team. Oh, let's hurry up here. Uh, AHMS, he has a purple ship here with some missiles, a nice splinter class. Then he has a battleship fitted with three, la three MK610 lasers and then a whale gun. Whew, that's a lot of laser firepower there. Um, here we see the Taboo Peach here. Firing off that hang-up jammer. It does have missiles also. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Are these missiles going to hit before we introduce the other ships? Yes, they are. Hitting one of the engines and then destroying that hang-up jammer. We didn't see much use this game. I'll try to introduce the west of the team here in a second. Uh, let me continue. Hurry up. We have the spice here. Okay, we have CTFA light cruiser here. Three M MK64s and some missiles. Very nice. Uh, we have the Pride, another battleship which is going to be fitted with a with all whale guns. Sorry, I'm just speeding through this so we have time. Uh, we have a heavy cruiser here, all whale guns. Very nice. No missile defense though, so we might see how that plays in. Uh, we have a. Wayne's here. Uh, looks like he has lock on signature boost, two signature boosters, so kind of a scout ship here. Excalibur, zooming under the map here, 
has... I think I already did Excalibur. He has three lasers here and one whale gun. A lot of... We already talked about it. A lot of firepower. Um... Yeah. Whew. I hope I got everyone there. So, let's talk about this game. So, orange team does have two points, while blue also has two control points. We had one engagement down here. The question is, does orange team know of the Excalibur coming from underneath? He does, but I don't know if he's let his team know. This heavy cruiser does look like it's white, point blank. It is whale guns. I don't know how good that would be against a laser battleship. I don't know if the orange team knows. It looks like... They are moving to take A, which we have a splinter class there, so you shouldn't we really be going in the middle of the map, especially on pillars. Excalibur is moving closer here. Gosh, those those three lasers could kill any of these ships instantly. The taboo peach exploded. Uh, must have got hit by mi blown up by missiles. Uh, hopefully that alerted the orange team. See, I understand uh, these are most of these players aren't communicating, but I feel like this would be something you might want to just tell your team. Say, you know, hey, uh, blue battleship coming under A. Just so they know. But looks like he's kind of waiting right now. I don't know what he's waiting on. We do have a small file of squaw missiles coming out. They might get this ship. The ship does, is... Is using its lock on, so if they take it out, it would be a decent win for the orange team. <clears throat> uh, there goes a chaff decoy, and looks like that's going to distract um, all of them, except that middle one. Uh, though we do have some whale gun fire coming in. Very nice. Uh, let's see, where where are you? There you are. Looks like they are heading for point E here. So Orange Team did move out to take point A, which they have taken successfully. But they are about to kind of be... They're being flanked by the blue team right now. As they're heading for point E, looks like the Excalibur is looking to come out on this end and maybe attack... COS from below. Now the spice is taking some pretty serious whale gun fire. And does looks does not look like it can return it, but he's going to get covered with this asteroid. But he's not being pelted by uh, Mini here or Gotland, probably call him Mini. We have a barrage of missiles coming in here. <clears throat> Trying to hit Mini. Uh, Mini has some has flak, so he probably would be able to hold this. There goes our flak. Ooh, fireworks in the sky. Does that look like those missiles are going to? Oh, they're turning and close. Oh, we got one. We got one. There we go. Um. Are they still getting hit by the... No, it doesn't look like those whale guns are hitting right now. Um, uh-oh. Excalibur has shown himself. Oh, uh, the question is... Oh, and he's immediately firing at the Spice. Two... All three of those lasers hitting could kill Spice instantly. Oh, gosh. Destroyed over half of his weapons. Firing again. Most of his missile systems is dead, too. His engine's probably dead. Uh, I think he just killed he he just killed off Spice, Excalibur becoming the you guys believe in the Loch Ness monster coming from below. Uh, uh oh, and then Fat Fred's about to be in the same range. Blue team has taken point E here. Uh, it does look like. Koss has fired missiles in support of Spice, but Spice has been pushed out. He can no longer move his ships. He's being fired by the whale guns. 
I'm pretty sure he doesn't have anything pretty much left functional on his ship. Uh, let's see. Uh, it does look... Oh. Another beam coming out here. And, yep, the spice is dead. A very quick death on one of the heavy cruisers of the orange team. That's a pretty big loss. But, I mean, I feel like this could have been avoided if orange team's ally... I mean... Again, I don't know if I can see team chat or not. I don't think I can. But if they was a, if they would have warned him that there was a battleship under there, he might have been watching. And Excalibur was just going to return back into the depths and pretty much be left by himself. He pretty much got that for free. Let's look at the map here. Um, Orange team has extended themselves pretty far into the middle. Blue team has moved... Hmm. Blue team's pretty much all over the place. There goes the... Strum Gobble. See, the Fat Fred is firing one of his cannons. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's fired. He killed that. He's gonna take point E back. Orange team is ahead in points. 216 to 198. <clears throat> Let's see, what is Mini going to do here? He's probably going to pretty easily block these Squaw missiles. Or oh, Thunderhead, Squaw and Thunderhead. Interesting strategy, kind of firing these off one at a time. I don't know if he's trying to waste ammo or not. I don't know if that's ever come into play. Usually people have a couple hundred ammo. I think they, you, they have far more ammo than you have missiles. I don't know if I've ever seen someone out of out of it. Uh, we have a couple blue missiles trying to hit the child here. Not getting it. Uh, let's see. The Golo sitting high and mighty with its whale guns high above the battlefield. Pretty much have a menacing presence over anything it can see. Uh oh, Scalable coming in for a second kill. That laser shooting straight up. If it hits any more, it might kill um, some of his weapons. Oh, that did some, killed whatever was on the bridge there. Uh, looks like he's sending out a volley of hurricanes. Uh, he does have a war and flak. So he's come prepared for this engagement. If we have the Weepost missiles, there was an explosion right next to this battle. And out of the shadows comes the missiles. We got one hit there. We got a couple hits coming in. The question is, can it take out those valuable missiles, which are the prime target? A good amount of uh, missiles hit. I don't know. That might have been thanks to that explosion covering the missiles' tracks. Um, trying to see. It looks like one of his lasers is taken out. That's a good reduction of firepower, and so are some of his missiles. So if he does have another volley. But a bunch of missiles also... Oh, gosh. I don't know what that was. A bunch of missiles firing on Fred here. Coming from many, but the blue team was pretty much completely ganged up on Fat Fred, who had a pretty good offensive against Excalibur here. Uh, Fred and Excalibur have become just walking smokehouses. Uh, looks like the Excalibur might take him more damage than we thought internally. He has not really been moving. But so is Fat Fred. Is Fat is Fat Fred trying to? I don't know if Fat Fred is trying to get some collateral damage, or if he's going to blow up. He wants to blow up next to Excalibur. That's what he might be doing. Oh, he's trying to get under the asteroid. I cannot tell. Gosh, Fat Fred is taking the full fire of Blue Team right now. Gosh. Yeah, no, he took a lot more damage. But, looks like his lasers are all functioning again. He is firing right on those engines. 
Oh, sorry, I just put in that engine in you guys as an eel. That lady is really not doing too much, but I don't know if the Fat Fred has much weapon we left. <clears throat> Let's see. So, Orange Team is ahead on points, 348 to 316. So it's pretty close here. I really do think the Excalibur really got taken out because of that explosion which blocked the missiles out of his view. Yeah, it looks like pretty much all of his weapons uh, are destroyed. So pretty good job on Fat Fred for taking out Excalibur who was pretty much a menace coming out in and out of that Astra taking out his fleet. Uh, it does look like Blue Team does take out one of CSS's ships. We do have a volley of missiles coming down onto SVN here, which is pretty much the last heavy cruise of Orange Team. Already losing one MK-68. Uh, looks like he's able to block those missiles, but he's taking an absolute beating from those rail guns and the MK-64 fire. Well, it does look like he does take a couple of hits, though. Um, yeah, I don't... This look... I mean, Orange Team... They're ahead in points, but I don't know if... I think they're going to lose this game. They are just losing their resources way faster than... Uh, Blue Team is. Fat Fred and Scalable chilling side by side. Probably hoping someone doesn't blow up, but it does look like Excalibur has got his engines back on. Uh, again, the problem with coming in the middle is your engine comes out, and now you're kind of just stuck here in the open. Uh, it does look like Mini is, I think, heading to take point E to get the point advantage, or the control point advantage. It does look like Koss is going to contest this. Uh, if they can beat Mini Hue, I think Orange might be in a decent spot. <laughs> yeah, so... Because even though they have that battleship there, they can just kind of hide from it for a while, honestly. Now let's see if he's going to be able to push Koss out of Hue. Looks like Koss is taking some some, not serious damage, but he's taking a moderate amount of damage here. I mean, these five MK-64s, I mean, with their 10 second reload, they are, they're firing at a pretty consistent rate. Uh, does look like that many, looks like he's finally returning fire there. So now we're going to have a pretty good exchange of fire here. We can sit back and watch this. For a second. I mean, since it's 250mm fire, they're both pretty good against each other. It does look like he's targeting the Omen first, which is pretty much destroyed at this point. I'm surprised he's not attacking the cost. Hopefully that doesn't blow up. Ooh, that wave gun is missing, coming from above. I'm gonna come from the side. There we go. It's pretty much it's raining blue fire from the sky. Good thing Excalibur is here. Well, this is as good of an angle here. Wait, what in the word? Are they firing at Excalibur? I. That feels like a mistake. Excalibur has not been firing his weapon. I mean, I guess they just want to make sure he's dead. I mean, he has repaired two of his lasers, so... Uh, let's see, we do have a couple of blue hurricane missiles coming down on Acid Hue, who's pretty much already dead. Looks like he did get some repairs done. A spicy knee looks like he's going to start taking some pretty serious fire here. Even though he did want to contest a mini, looks like mini the fire support mini is getting from that battleship is going to be enough to push push Koss out of here. Gosh, I don't think they have anything to 
distract the pride. Yeah, those whale gun shots are pretty punishing there. It looks, it looks like most of Koss's fleet is just going to have to retreat. And leave point E to mini. Gosh. Yeah, without many firing back, it's pretty one-sided. It was pretty even engaged, but the moment one one side got a advantage, they were able to really use that advantage. Uh, it does look like COS did surrender. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for the orange team. I mean, we have... Yeah, we have... Not acid, there we go, not chemistry. We have Acid here, who's pretty much lost, so there's no way his ship in his condition will be able to beat it. Uh, there goes Acid, and the only ship we have left is Fat Fred, who's about to surrender, and this is going to be a pretty quick game. It's going to be a blue team victory. Man, a uh, very good opening coming from Excalibur, really m messing up the Orange team. And I think something part of this has to do is that blue team really engaged point E. They took the fight to orange team when orange team pushed out to take point A. So instead of engaging over here, probably like they wanted, blue team really came around and, uh, excuse me, pulled a, another one on them. Pulled a sneaky one on them. There you go. Looks like Skylab was going to try and finish this game. Looks like he does got his laser back. As far as the closest close range laser I have seen. Um, yeah. I do think that Orange Team should have alerted the other teammates to the Excalibur's presence. I think that was a grave mistake. Why didn't you go with Fly Frigates? Oh, it looks like Fat Fred just realized that he's the only one left. And he's probably about to surrender here. Huh. And there we go, it is going to be a blue team victory. Let's go look at those numbers for this game. Yes, I would like to go see the numbers game. Okay, looking at mini here, 21,000, 18,000. Very good, wow. Very good damage. I didn't realize how much damage he did. Uh, 23,000 from... Golo, I didn't know if we saw Golo that much. Oh, he must have been one of the whale guns. 23,000, wow, very good. Uh, the Pride, 23,000. Gosh, they just had such blue, like, they were just waning blue fire down this whole game. Uh, Excalibur, 19,000, took 20,000. Does it track me? Uh, Acid, wow. Acid really struggled that game. He got caught out in the middle. Nah, they didn't do too good either. Uh, the Fat Fred did do 19,000, took 36,000. Fat Fred did do some pretty serious damage. Uh, and then Spice did... Uh, a thousand damage. So yeah, that was. I think there should have probably been more communication on the orange team side. But again, these are all random players every time, so you can't expect great teamwork. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching another episode of Nebulous Cast. I hope you guys have a good day. If you like this video and content, consider leaving a like, maybe subscribing if you want to see more of these, and have a safe night, guys.